Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. New glasses, who dis? <laughs> uh, hopefully the glasses aren't, uh, trying to keep it away from the ring light, but also I'm wondering, you guys last week I was like, hey, what color hair should I do? Maybe my ring light is picking for me. <laughs> I don't know, side note. All right, for this, <laughs> for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Some of my nicknames are the Duchess of Donuts, the Cuss Mouth Angel, as well as the Tarantino of Tarot. So, y'all, I like to cuss. I'm going to talk some shit. <laughs> All right? I'm going to read you for fucking filth. Uh, but I will never leave you without an avenue forward. Do you fucking hear me? I won't leave you in the middle of a, like, hey, here's some shit coming to you. Good luck with it. Fuck you. Do you I will never fucking do that shit, okay? So even if I read you for filth, we're also going to have an avenue to find our way fucking through it all, okay? Uh, now I want to talk about a couple things. First, the impersonators and the creepers are out like hardcore right now, guys. Please, please, please hear me when I tell you I will never, I will never DM you, message you, slide into your DMs, demand that you give a donation or get a reading with me or tell you scary things are happening around you. I will not do that shit. So if somebody is pretending to be me, like, please, I'm begging you, block and report that profile. I will never, ever, ever, ever do that kind of shit. You guys come to me whenever you're ready. You go to my webpage, sarahmartucci.com, where you can book and schedule. Okay. I will never give you a weird cash app or tell you to get on somewhere else and do these things. Like I will never in a million fucking years. Okay. So just please know all of a sudden, if I'm following you and then all of a sudden I'm messaging you red flags, red fucking flags. All right. Or if I respond to you in my comments and it looks like me and I'm like grand rising, or even if they use some of my verbiage, but again, they're trying to scare you say that feel something around you. You should friend me now. Like you've already friended me. You've already followed me. So stay aware, stay cognizant, don't let these assholes take money from you, pretending to be me. Fuck that shit. Okay, fuck that shit. I can't even get into it. You guys have been with me for a while, so you know we've been battling this for a hot minute. It's just, it's exhausting. All right, on top of that, guys, I need to apologize for last week. I need to apologize for last week. I give y'all incorrect information astrologically. Okay, the best I can figure is that, okay, I got this problem. Maybe you guys would like me. I'll go on like three or four, sometimes six, <laughs> rabbit holes with information, especially in astrology, and because I'm self-taught, okay? Um, and so I think I was <laughs> researching multiple things and just mashed them all into one. I just went crazy and told you all things. So please disregard the astrological information I gave you last, last week. Because I was saying something like this eclipse doesn't come around for like 200 years. What? No, I was researching Pluto, like straight up. And that's like the 200 plus years of coming around to like what these themes mean and stuff like that. So again, forgive me, guys. I also thought it was important to tell you guys, I'm sorry and to tell you the right information. Okay? Like, I know this information. What the fuck was I saying? And guys, like, I went through and like made sure, like I looked at it, made sure like, is this right? Is this correct? And my brain was still like, check mark. I don't know. I don't know. So again, I just want to say to you guys, I'm really sorry. Let's talk about the correct information. What the fuck is happening this week? Okay. With the eclipse season happening. Um, and so that we can get on the right track and really kind of feel into this in the best way possible. Okay. The, I think the only thing I was right about is it's on the Virgo Pisces axis. Okay. That was about it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe also to pull on some Virgo energy to find some grounded centeredness too. Uh, but really the North Node's pointing at Pisces, guys. All right. With that being said, let's move the fuck into the Astro Fuckery. And again, if you've never been here before, uh, this is where I pull three piles of cards. You choose any and all that you're drawn towards. I'm going to read you for filth. All right. <laughs> and then we get it. Uh, first, we get into the Astro Fuckery. Okay. So let's do that. Let's do that shit now. So this week on Tuesday, the 17th. I think last week I said the 16th. I mean it, guys. I was all over the fucking place. I'm really sorry. Um, can I also say this to you? If you guys are having a problem or you thought something was right, real, and true and you said it and it ended up not being or we didn't find good information or we're just maybe you're encountering the same issues as me, please make sure that you sit down and that you remind yourself it's okay to make fucking mistakes. Guys, I almost had a fucking panic attack when I realized what the fuck I did. And I was like, chill the fuck out, okay? I promise all this plays into the astrology, okay? So I just, I just want to remind you guys to please motherfucking forgive yourself and remind yourself how the fuck else are you supposed to learn if you don't make mistakes, right? Okay, okay. 
So with that understanding, let's move into this eclipse, okay? Again, it's going to be coming up on Tuesday the 17th. I think if you're Pacific, I'm sorry, if you're Eastern time, it should be around like 10 o'clock, 10.30. It should be around the 10 p.m. time, okay, Eastern. So I think for, uh, you know, Pacific time, it'd be three hours. Before that, it'd be around 7, okay? Um, so we're looking at the evening time on Tuesday the 17th, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, okay? Um, so essentially on Tuesday, we're having a full moon. In the sign of Pisces, and Pisces, this axis, Pisces Virgo axis in this eclipse, is starting off a brand new fucking cycle with these two signs, okay? So the last time they were in this sign, which was like, it was not 200 years ago, okay? I, I think it was probably like eight or nine years ago. Um, I think it was switched, I believe. It returns to its original sign. Um, I think it's like every 20 years, okay? It goes back to the OG. Um, but at this point, uh, it's it's pointing, the North Node's pointing at Pisces and the South Node's pointing at Virgo. And the last time it was here, the North Node was pointing at Virgo. The South Node was pointing um, at Pisces. So this one's really asking us uh, to kind of follow that North Node here. And especially with this full fucking moon in Pisces. And Listen, if y'all... <laughs> Pi Pisces is an incredible sign. It holds all the fucking signs in one. It's been able to sit down and absorb all this information, everything that it's learned from every single sign before it, and then it starts again when it gets to Aries. So with Pisces here, like it holds all the information of the Zodiac. It's all the signs in one. That's why it's represented usually by like the ocean when people speak about the sign. Now, the problem with Pisces is that it's ruled by Neptune, <laughs> right? Um, and so, and I think it's also co-ruled by Jupiter too. But Neptune is kind of like the ruling planet here that everybody knows about it, you know. Um, and the point is, uh, with Pisces here, it can kind of be like illusion, disillusion. There can be fantasy. And so um, there might be questions right now about like, again, feeling kind of lost. Which way am I going? Is this the right avenue? Am I choosing the right thing? I think this would be an excellent time if you have questions around it to sit down and work on your fucking discernment. So I would say like, oh, Sarah, how the fuck do we do that? Thank you for fucking asking. I would actually say tune into meditation, doing a daily meditation every day, really starting to get to know yourself and trusting your body and yourself when the fuck it's speaking to you. So this would be a beautiful, and also to this new beginning story here with Pisces and Virgo is going to be going until I believe August of 2026. If I'm wrong, I will make sure that I write in the notes what the actual fucking thing is, okay? But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Only research one thing this time. Um, it should be ending in 2026 in August, okay? But in the meantime, it's starting this brand new story that we need to pay attention to. I would also say here too that like it's also important to follow your fucking dreams. With the South Node being on Virgo at this point, being grounded and practical does bring us back here. But it's saying we've got to even this out somehow. Maybe we've gotten too mixed down, too in the dirt, uh, too in reality that we're having a hard time now uh, daydreaming and giving ourselves that maybe release here or the thumbs up, if you will, <laughs> to daydream about what we actually want to maybe have a dream here. Listen, we live in an earth, very earth-based capitalistic system. And so having to have a job, making that money, having things, having the materials and the resources, it's incredibly important to live, right? So again, this axis is going to be looking at us specifically. It would also help you to know where Virgo and Pisces is in your chart. So we can see where there's a rebalancing going the fuck back on here, okay? I would also say too with that North Node in Pisces, this is an excellent time. I was just talking about it, forgiveness. And so listen, I just want to remind y'all, you don't need to forgive another fucking person if you ain't fucking ready, okay? Take your fucking time around that. But I would say to you, just a gentle reminder that forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other person. It's just letting go of the anger and the resentment that you're maybe holding inside that we're having a difficult time with. Um, and, and we're letting go of it so that we can be free, so that you don't have to hold on to this bullshit, okay? Gentle reminder. But you do it whenever the fuck you're ready. But I think most importantly with... Pisces also ruling this 12th house, which is like our subconscious, our unconscious, the stuff that we're not fully aware of. I actually think this forgiveness has more to do with ourselves, okay? Maybe in the ways in which we've put materialistic things over our dreams uh, with that Virgo, you know, South Node, or maybe the ways in which we've been too, you know, harsh in reality or just feeling like maybe too grounded, not giving ourselves a chance to like breathe here, um, have some fun, dream a little bit. 
um, go with the fucking flow. Maybe we found that we've been too stagnant, too regimented, too, do you know what I'm saying? And, and listen, that's important. We need to be able to have some kind of structure in order for our dreams to fucking happen, right? Right. <laughs> so it's not that structure is the problem here. Maybe, again, this is a rebalancing act. Whenever these eclipses come up, if you ask me, it's chaotic, crazy events coming in that feel like they throw us off course, but actually are pointing us in the right fucking direction. So do we have the wherewithal, especially with this new kind of story starting here, to make sure that we are paying attention to the ways that maybe we're too rigid in something? Are we ready to be a little more flexible? Are we ready to tap back into our dreams? Maybe we've spent all this time making a solid grounded structure for ourselves. Now it's time to dream so that we can fill that solid structure with the things that really fucking make sense to us. Again, look in your chart where Pisces and Virgo are going to be. And then that way we kind of get a better idea, especially with this full moon in Pisces. Ooh, babe, I'm a Leo rising. So it's in my eighth house. Send all the fucking help. <laughs> hey, send all the fucking help. We don't even need to get into that. All I'm saying is, if you know, you know, send help, uh, but it'll be good because it's going to refine for me, maybe daydreaming about maybe what my possible. Okay. So listen, if we're going to take this in a positive spin, <laughs> okay, here's what I'm hoping with it being a full moon, something's coming to a close, right? And with it asking for to like really kind of tap into our dreams again with a grounded structure here, making sure something's got a grounded structure, tap into those dreams. Can we fill that grounded structure with it? Okay around my partnerships. And so maybe like even business wise. And so, which is totally on fucking point okay, right now for me in my life. So kind of daydreaming about like the partnerships I would want to go into, the things that I would want to partner up with people on. And what would that dream team look like? What would that dream project look like? And am I ready to invest in that energy and time with Virgo ruling my second house, right? Do I have the resources? Do I have that structure? Have I worked on my daily fucking practices? You know, to make sure that I can show up for these partnerships that are really fucking important for me. So, again, send help. <laughs> Yay! Send help here. But again, look at your chart, see where the fuck those two places sit, and then we'll have a better understanding. Maybe also, too, with Pisces, a lot of times this can roll like our spirituality, religion, maybe um, just what, what the fuck we believe in in the universe, okay? So maybe there's something here coming to a close around that. Maybe the world has shown us that some of our dreams and thoughts and some of the things that we thought were going to be possible aren't, but maybe it's giving us a chance to have a new and better dream. Maybe the previous dream wasn't fucking enough. Okay. So pay attention to that. It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. Okay. This can actually be in a beautiful way. And how can we use this energy to help us maneuver towards that beautiful way that we're hoping for? Dream big, baby. Allow your daydreams to really register with you during your waking hours. What the fuck is your brain going to 24 seven? Maybe we need to pull that thread. Okay. All right. So long story short, <laughs> this week it starts a brand new fucking story in Pisces and Virgo we're looking at Pisces to guide the way here and it's asking us to maybe tap and tune into our dreams what it is that we want so deeply here what is our spirituality do we have a religion do we believe in something here are we ready to forgive ourselves and another person have our grounded structures been put together well enough that it can actually carry the dreams that we have now and if not, how can we rebalance that structure so we can show up here present, aware, and letting our heart and our dreams guide the fucking way? Oh, baby, say less. <laughs> okay. Yes, please. I love you guys. Believe in yourselves. And whatever the fuck you do, pay attention to your fucking dreams going forward. Some of you guys, I would strongly suggest having a really good or something here that like a journal or something that we could write in, say what the fuck is coming up for us so we can start to make sense of where our soul, maybe we're spirit is calling us now. I fucking love that. All right. All right, you guys. I love you. Hopefully that fucking made sense. Um, also note too, on Sunday uh, is when the sun moves into Libra. So that's also the um, fall equinox. And then we've got, we got the changing of the seasons and the eclipse gates changing too, baby. Go easy this week. Go fucking chill. Pump the fucking brakes. All right. And when in doubt, try to have a good fucking time. Listen to music too. I very much associate Pisces, Neptune music. Okay. So listen to the music. Music might also be a sign and signal from your loved ones. This might be guiding the way, or it might bring some kind of message that you need to hear in the moment. Trust it. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next screen. <laughs>
Well, hello, card pile number one. My goodness, these fucking cards. Let's let's fucking talk about it, baby. Uh, you might be one of the <laughs> maybe one of the few people right now that might be navigating this eclipse season like it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay, God bless. But again, it's because of, we'll get into it. It's because of the good shit you've been building for a hot minute now. With that being said, your first card is a major Akina card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major movement forward. Y'all got the fucking sun. Mm -hmm. Second card you got is the Ten of Fucking Cups. Babe, what? <laughs> and then finally, the Ten of Coins. Shut the fuck up. Also, two extra points to anybody that 110, 210, it stands for the 19, breaks down to the number 10. 10, 10, 10. So if y'all don't fucking play the lottery on October the 10th, I'm going to fist fight every single one of y'all. <laughs> My <laughs> Or if y'all don't get start getting booty scooting in fucking October, you are missing a fucking opportunity. Holy shit. Uh, with that being said, guys, starting off with the major arcana card and the fucking sun, you could not be doing this in any better kind of fashion, okay? Whenever the sun comes up, this is a beautiful indicator of success, vitality, victory, uh, everything coming together and like really going in your favor. Traditionally, there's a little boy or a little child on this card riding a horse uh, full of fucking glee, naked as shit, full of <laughs> happiness, living his best fucking life, okay? So I really think here the sun, whenever it shows up, there's also a callback here to our childhood. It's asking us to go back to a certain time period and like, especially around like work and career, are you doing what you wanted to do since you were a kid? If that's a, if this is a yes, babe, you're on the right fucking track. Well fucking done. I also take this card as like an indicator to like work with animals here. Um, the sun also talks about like the hospital health healing, but like all beautiful senses. Like if we wanted to work, like this would be, a, if you wanted to work with horses, rehabilitate, help them work with them. Yes, baby. Uh, cause again, there's a horse in the cart. Okay. Uh, I just think that it's a beautiful indicator here that again, healing, happiness, success, vitality. We're in a good fucking position. This is gorgeous. Now, uh, the sun stands for the number 19, so look for these themes to come up around the 19th of a month, okay? So pay attention to the 19th this week, uh, but also 1 plus 9 equals 10, baby. I'm going to read these like the months, okay? So I'm going to look, be looking towards October, all right? Now, the second October card, 10 of Cups. This is one of the, there's two beautiful 10s and two rough, shitty 10s. Y'all happen to get the best 10s, okay? Uh, so I love the 10 of cups. Um, here's what I love about 10s too, is they talk about like the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So I kind of love that with this full moon coming up this week on Tuesday the 17th, okay? And again, with this new moon in Pisces, quit it, Sarah, full moon in Pisces. It's a full moon in Pisces. I just, I, I just want to say crazy things. I don't know, guys. Is that any different than normal? No, I just, I, anyways, <laughs> this full moon in Pisces and it's a North node. Okay. It's a, it's a partial eclipse. Um, it's not perfectly aligned, but it's enough. We're going to be feeling it in our fucking booties and nips. Okay. This is going to be for real. Um, but again, it's asking us to like kind of bring a close to something here with the full moon. This is a completion point. And so we're kind of like bringing something to a close. Did it work? Did it? Did it not? Or what information do we have and how can it help us move forward? Okay. So pay attention to the closings, the, the new beginnings that are coming up for you guys this week. This is an indicator that we've got it maybe in three different spaces with the three tens showing up. Okay. Um, it might be on three different levels here. Uh, but again, with the 10 of cups, one of the most beautiful omens with cups is going to talk about our emotions and our intuition. So something here is peak on fucking point. Um, I also see two cups as one of the cards here around family and home, but also love and relationships. So it just, this feels beautiful on those ends. And or sometimes the 10 of cups can be, if we're going to take it in a rougher edge or if we're having a more difficult time, this can even talk about too much of a good thing, possibly. Maybe we've been spending too much time, too much emotion, too much on something. So just making sure we rein it back in, make sure it makes sense that something here is balanced. I like it with a 10. It's an even number that is, it's come and balanced. So come balance towards our emotions and our intuition, listening to what the fuck it has to say. Or if maybe some of you guys are suffering from feeling like your intuition's talking too much, your psychic stuff and gifts and abilities are off the fucking charts right now, look for ways that we can ground here, okay? Which I love, which brings me to the 10 of coins, which is literal perfection of grounding that joy, that happiness, something that we've built here over a long period of time. Both cups and earth move the fucking slowest, these fucking slowest, Okay. Um, the sun here is quick. This is fire energy, but it came in because of the work that we've done to build up to the tens here. So I want to say to you guys, congratulations, work well 
done. Well fucking done. We should be celebrating here in some way, shape or form. Okay. But again, with the 10 of cups, this is emotional fulfillment. This is a wish fulfilled. This is creative fulfillment, feeling just blessed in every area of life, especially uh, pertaining to love and relationships, family and home. Well done, you guys. Again, look towards the month of October on the 10th of a month. Um, now with the 10 of coins, again, the second most beautiful, <laughs> um, you know, 10 card. And again, closing of a chapter, but this is about life and legacy. And so like, what the fuck am I leaving behind with the 10 of coins? And I usually find with the earth element here, this is going to talk about family and home again. So I definitely think family and home is going to be a big theme this week. Hello, especially with that first card showing a little kid. Side note. Okay. But with the Ten of Coins here, what are we building? What is this legacy that we're passing on? This would either be, and it would have to be something we can taste, touch, see, smell. Earth element needs to, it needs to be tangible. It needs to be here. <laughs> okay, not in my hearts or my farts. Okay. This needs to be here. Only air and fire would deal with that. Okay. <laughs> in my hearts and my farts, yes. Fire and air is like, fuck yeah. Okay. Everybody else like, no, show me the money. Literally show me the money. Okay. So with the 10 of coins here, this is show me the money. And again, this is financial independence though. And so we're building up towards something. This is also one of my cards building the empire here. And so, you know, in terms of our family, like, what are we leaving behind? Maybe we're talking to some of the elders within our family this week, getting the history and the stories, understanding where the fuck we came from. So we know exactly where the next avenue is going to be leading us towards. Okay. Or at least giving us a better understanding of the container that we're going to be working with. But I love that the earth element showed up here to balance out that water and the emotions and with the sun. Like baby, this is, this is fertile ground. What are we reaping the rewards of? And now that the ground is bare, what are we now replanting? October is going to be bringing that titty shake into the bank fucking moment. With that being said, if we're looking for a yes or no this week, this is a yes if there ever fucking was one, okay? This is a yes, especially around building lasting structures, working within family and groups here that we love, that we support each other, like the things that bring us joy and have a lasting effect. Maybe for some of you guys too, a yes around what we're building and sustaining for our children. What I'm building, sustaining for my health. So I can be here longer. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe you're finally reaching an age and important. Maybe for some of you guys with the three tens here, we're in our thirties. Okay. Maybe it's been three decades uh, with the two most uh, slow moving cards here with coins and cups. Like this has taken some fucking time to get here. This has been no joke. So this goodness coming in isn't out of the fucking sky. It's literally because of what we've been working on. Again, I'm just, I'm stupid fucking proud of you guys. Well fucking done. All right. If we're looking around love and relationships, shut the fuck up. Do I even, did I not just go through all of it? Like, <laughs> this is fucking gorgeous. So for some of you guys this week, maybe we're dealing with our kids. Maybe also too, I can find that when coins show up, this can talk about education. So maybe we're looking at a school for our kids to make sure that they're in the best place possible. Also, the son usually talks about a young son here, but this can talk about a son or a daughter. doesn't fucking matter or however your child identifies. Okay. With the son here, again, this can just talk about our children, maybe even here, our own childhood. Maybe for some of you guys, you've been looking back at your own childhood, what worked and what fucking didn't. And how do we piece that? How do we take away the good stuff here so that we can build or maybe rebuild something that better suits us and our family? Hot damn summer in the city. That feels fucking good. Okay. I really like that. October is going to give us a point here to really kind of take off on that. Maybe for some of you guys too, a health issue has been holding back abundance and or getting a health issue established or taken care of, and we'll deal with that in health, actually opens up the gates and doors, the flood doors here. This is wild. Okay. Around other love and relationships, though, this is around family. This just feels like family kind of establishing who's a part of that, who's in this. Maybe they're, we're welcoming in new little bundles of joy this week. Okay. I know who that would apply to for a couple of my friends. Woo! <laughs> That's so exciting. It's so exciting to me. I have a cancer moon. I'm always going to love babies coming in until the end of fucking time. If I could have a hundred babies, I would have given birth to a hundred babies. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. <laughs> Again, with that cancer moon, I just love the babies. So I just, this is such a beautiful indicator. And so somebody might be either some, maybe somebody here found out that they are pregnant finally. Okay. And or October brings that opportunity or the 19th. Okay. Pay the fuck attention. Um, or maybe we're welcoming in a little bundle of fucking joy this week. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like this kid's going to be a little powerhouse. Okay. Whether it's boy, girl, doesn't fucking matter. Um, maybe, <laughs> and again, maybe we can get into that with the health or maybe even here for some of you guys, maybe there's a birth of an important horse. 
I don't fucking, okay, side note. So just saying to you guys, or an important animal here that's coming into our life, this just feels like there's something beautiful that's coming up here, okay? Maybe even after the loss of another one, possibly, because sometimes with cups here, again, it can be too much of a good thing. Or maybe like we've had a lot of tears or emotions on something that was really difficult and something beautiful came out of this, okay? So just saying to you guys, this is beautiful indicator around family, health, home, our emotions, our physical state. Like, this is holistic, baby. This is gorgeous. In Virgo season, fuck yes. Okay? Anything else around love and relationships? For some of you guys, we might be establishing important anniversaries. <laughs> Actually, I am. I should have told you guys that. Me and my husband are celebrating 19 years together and 14 years married on the 18th. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> It's really good shit, okay? So for some of you guys, you might actually be celebrating important anniversaries right now that are important fucking milestones. We've worked long and hard to get here. It has not been fucking easy, okay? But maybe we're sitting in a better state than we ever have before. October should really be bringing in some beautifulness here, all right? Maybe I would just warn some of you guys, if you weren't ready to get pregnant, uh, chill the fuck out in October. <laughs> this is a beautiful indicator here that also, and we can deal with that more in health, uh, that we could get pregnant. Uh, it just feels like family, home, togetherness. Everybody's getting together. We're loving on the people that care about us and we care about them. And it feels reciprocal. Thank you, baby fucking Jesus. So pay attention to who reaches out this week, who's trying to establish something with you. I think it's important to establish it back, especially if you feel that way. Especially if these people bring in some kind of sunshine or make you feel seen, wanted, loved, understand. What the fuck is family and home to you? Okay? And are you ready to build upon that and make a dream come true? Wow. Oh. Yes, please. <laughs> um, anything else around relationships? I would just say, again, family and friendship. Pay attention to your friends that are turning into family. <laughs> Maybe we're raising our kids together. This is gorgeousness. Maybe some of you guys are thinking about taking a trip in October. Maybe we're considering maybe going to the water. Maybe we're trying to consider going to like maybe the mountains or the water. Or maybe we're trying to go to like camping or camping on land, camping on the water. I don't fucking know. Just saying. <laughs> maybe we've got a couple different trips coming up here that we're kind of looking at doing with our people, our family, our support system. Um, last thing I want to say around love and relationships this week. For some of you guys, there's going to be a serious establishment of something here real between you and another person. So I would absolutely very much uh, pay attention. Make sure that everybody's on the same page. Everybody wants the same thing, but it feels like by October, we are. Maybe for some of you guys too, if you're waiting for that decision, maybe it's taken a while to get here. Maybe this person's been suffering through some medical health issues. Maybe you have too, okay? And so getting our health together or getting our sh shit straight <laughs> allows us to be here and be present with each other and really build something of substance that has real feelings. I love when water and earth comes together because this says like real grounded love. To me, this says like, you know, this is chemist. Mm -hmm. This is chemistry and compatibility. It's one of my combinations of that. I fucking love it. Okay. So I love that we've got something real here. This love is real and it's being shown or brought back to us. It's being shown in our face that we were correct, correct, or we were right, or something's being reciprocated here in the most beautiful of ways. And it starts a brand new fucking chapter. Congratulations, you guys, big time. Now, if we're looking around work and career, baby, same fucking thing. October brings a new fucking opportunity where this job might be what you really fucking love and want to do. We've been working years trying to get towards this thing. This could be a promotion. This could be a brand new job that actually gives us the health benefit package, the money, and the feeling like we're actually making a fucking difference. For some of you guys this week, there might be a call to, to go into real estate, working with the land or purchasing land, investments, finance. Some of you guys could be working with animals. Um, some of you guys could be building your own business or maybe we're celebrating a business that we're running maybe 10 plus years here. Congratulations for real guys. Well done. Please note that like every year you keep doing better and better. Keep building upon what you're doing. This is only going to get better from here. Well fucking done. Okay. <laughs> um, I think the health of your business is really well right now. Well done. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Business be good. Um, and or look for ways that we can maybe start to establish that foundation if that's what we're looking for. But it feels like October brings something here that is both fulfilling uh, emotionally and financially. God fucking bless. <laughs> yes, please. 
yeah, extra points for anybody wanting to go into being a nurse, being a doctor, going into healthcare, rehabilitation, health or hospitals, working in healthcare in some way, shape or form. This is gorgeous. Super fucking educated. Vet, veterinary services, working with animals. Um, this is gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous. Well done, you guys. I love this around career. If you guys wanted to start a business, you better motherfucking do it by October 19th and no fucking later. Uh, baby, not only are you going to be successful, you're... This might actually, you might make enough here where you can take care of your children and your family. Well fucking done. Well fucking done. That's like making me emotional. That's well fucking done. Well done. And it's all because you decided to do what you've always wanted to do or you finally tuned into your inner child and you said, okay, I'm ready. Well fucking done. <laughs> yeah. All right. I would also say extra points here if you wanted to go into work um, around beauty and beautification, cooking, uh, food, baking, um, starting your own restaurant. I think that would that would go to any of the creative arts is a fuck to the yeah, especially if you're also thinking about music, makeup, artistry, um, like painting, sculpting, dancing. You guys get the jam. Acting, you guys get the fucking jam. We're going to be successful. October brings an opportunity here. Okay, how do we build upon it and work with that energy and go with the fucking flow? All right. All right, if we're looking around health and healing, oh, I'm not worried. I think for some of you guys, we've had some lymph node or drainage issues within the body. This could also be talking about the kidneys. Maybe we're not drinking enough water. Water's going straight through us. <laughs> um, I would say here too, for some of you guys, the skin has been highlighted. The spinal cord has been highlighted. It just feels like these areas are starting to align or this is the time if you're having those issues, get the fuck into the doctor. We're going to find a solution that's going to help us to finally close a chapter on all this bullshit and go into a much more clear, healed, better everything. Thank you, baby Jesus. Okay. I would say for some of you guys too here. If there has been a loss. Um, maybe here around our health, just making sure that we're going in and we're taking good care of it. Okay. What has this loss taught us about how we want to build our family and take care of ourselves emotionally. Now we have the chance to heal our inner child, go in there and do the family work, do your emotional work. This is literally what's going to set you fucking free and set you to the next fucking level. You can say, fuck you, Sarah, all you fucking want, but maybe it's the one thing that you haven't fucking tried and done is therapy. It's fucking time, babe. And do it for real this time. Don't just go in there to talk shit. Go in there and really go to the root core issue around our emotions and how this goes back to the family. Maybe for some of you guys, there's a father connection here. Okay? Go take care of it. This is literally your key to it all. <laughs> all right. Uh, this would be a great week to go see a chiropractor, see a good therapist, uh, rehabilitation in some way, shape, or form. Fuck yeah. Yeah. If you guys wanted to get pregnant, this would be a, the perfect fucking time. Maybe to find a surrogate, IVF. Um, it just feels like something finally takes here, okay? Some of you guys might have 10 embryos that we can work with. Pay attention to number 10. But I really think that this is coming in October. This feels really fucking good, okay? Why do I want to say animal husbandry? It won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. So also too, if some of you guys wanted to go into animal husbandry, this would be a beautiful indication too. This would set you up financially. This would be something incredibly lucrative. We might be able to help these horses. That should be at the forefront though. Okay. Let's make sure helping of the horses, establishing maybe like working with really well-known pedigrees here with the ton of coins um, is a dream come true. And so I feel like some of you guys could be doing that work too. Okay. If we're looking for a message from spirit. I don't know. Okay. I've got a father figure showing up here. This could be a father, a grandfather, someone that was like a father to you. Maybe being a father was the most important thing to him. But I also feel weirdly enough, I feel like there's a military background. Okay. Um, I just think he wants to say to you that it's time for you to, mm, this is so interesting. I feel like it's interesting for some of you guys. It's time for you to go your own way in terms of family. And so what are we building now? Maybe we've been waiting for that moment or looking for that moment. Would this loved one be upset with me if I decided to break away from the family, do something different, build something of my own wishes, hopes, and dreams? No, baby. Not only does, is he not upset, he wants you to lean into this. There's something important here that you got to break a generational cycle. We're ready to start something brand new here that's actually beneficial for me and my family in a more loving, centered, grounded, 
realistic, practical, but loving way. Well fucking done. Okay. Well fucking done. Maybe doing this for the joy of the kid. Um, and, or wants to tell you that there is very much protection around your children from an important father figure in uh, spirit here, letting you know the child or the children are fucking protected. Extra points again, if we have a boy, okay. And, or we're worried about a son. Uh, just please know that he's watching out. Everybody's accounted for. Everybody's okay. All right. Guys, anything else this week? Motherfucking trust yourself. Whatever structures we're building here, fucking trust them. As long as it's geared towards your joy, you're in the right places, doing the right things at the right time. I'm fucking proud of you, and you better booty scoot in October. Fuck yeah, you guys. Hi, card pile number two. Let's fucking talk about it, babe. Your first uh, card is the six of coins. Not too shabby. Uh, second card is the queen of coins. And then finally, we got the Five of Cups. I know, fucking violence. <laughs> Let's fucking talk about it, okay? Listen, whenever the Six of Coins comes up, this is a great card, straight up. This is a card. I love sixes. I mean, we've talked about this before. And I think last week we had sixes or we, we had sixes coming up. Maybe it was the week previous. But so with the Six of Coins showing up here, this is a card of reciprocity, okay? There's a rebalancing that's going on after the chaos and fuckery of fives. What we've learned here personally about something, maybe the way that we interact with other people. So the sixes here, we're, we're rebalancing the scales. We're really trying to maybe work in better partnership again. We understand that we can't do this all by our itty bitty <laughs> or we need help here in some way, shape or form. I love the six of coins because it really just kind of reminds us, first of all, coins. This is earth element, grounded, practical, realistic, logical. It's asking us really like, what are we manifesting here? What are we building? Like, honestly, what are we building? I really want to say more with earth element. What are we building? What are we creating? And so we got to be here present in the moment to make sure that we're putting in all the right pieces at all the right time to make sure we have the proper fucking support and structure. Please and thank you. Okay. Please and thank you. Six of coins here too uh, can talk about maybe at a certain point we didn't have enough. We didn't have the resource, resources that we need. But at this point that we're at now, because of the work that we've done, we've got an abundance of something, whether that's time, energy, effort, love, uh, support, um, whatever the fuck this thing is, it's got to be tangible. So it's something that people need, a resource. So it's asking you to be generous here. Maybe gifting people, helping them, supporting them, showing up with them with your time, your energy, your money. Again, the resource here that somebody fucking needs. Uh, also, too, if we're looking for more abundance to come in, this card kind of asks you to go out there and be generous with others and watch as that instigates or starts really bringing in and opening up doors here for abundance to find you, too. Okay, this is this is beautiful. Um, I love the Six of Queens. Also, too, with the number six here, it's going to reference the sixth of a month. Maybe six days, six weeks, six years. With coins, it moves the slowest. I'm looking months to years, okay? Um, again, this is something we've been working on for a while whenever Earth element comes up. Uh, I also reference these like the months, so I want to go back to the month of June. And so maybe there was a point here where we were giving out maybe our energy, time, love, money, whatever. Maybe we were hoping at a certain point this would be reciprocated. Um, I would also say, too, with the Six of Coins, make sure that we're giving to give, Make sure that we're not giving to somebody knowing full well that they can't give back and then demanding that. Uh, please stop. Okay. So know who the fuck we're dealing with here. Make sure if, you know, especially if we're expecting this back at a certain time, we're lending something, we're doing something of that nature. Make sure that you're working with somebody that you know can, will, is able to show up in that reciprocity. Don't work with people that are just takers. No good. They're just going to drain you. Okay. So whenever the Six of Coins comes up again, it just says like, there's a feeling here, people need what the fuck you got. Please fucking share it, <laughs> all right? You're going to help somebody here in a big way. And, and again, with that callback, remember a time when you did not have what you needed. Can we show up now and show others support? Um, what did we learn from that time frame? And how can we help others? Um, and then we got the queen of fucking coins. Uh, we got our first court card. So whenever a court card shows up, this is going to tell us that our week's going to be a little peeply. All right. God bless. <laughs> uh, but with the, the peopliness, with this queen here, this can stand for two things. Either this is a person coming on the scene to help or to fuck shit up. Um, or this is going to talk about the energy that we should probably be taking on here so that we can move towards a goal with earth element here or build something of substance or what are we building and creating? Okay. With the queen here, this is traditionally going to talk about a female our age or older showing up on the scene. doesn't have to be a female, but traditionally the queens stand for that. So however you identify, however the fuck this makes sense. Also too, with the earth element here, I'm looking at my Virgos, my Capricorns, uh, my Tauruses. And usually that'll show up in the sun, moon, rising sign or innermost planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Maybe they just have heavy earth placements within the chart. Okay. 
I find with this queen, first of all, anytime the queens show up, they're going to remind us, remember who the fuck we are. You're a fucking queen. You're a fucking king. Baby, you are goddamn fucking royalty. Are you, please treat yourself as such, especially earth element. Have you met an earth element that like when the timing was right or they had the money, like didn't fucking treat themselves? Hello. <laughs> right? And they're getting good gifts. We're not skimping. Okay. If we're earth element. Woo. Seriously though. Okay. I deeply appreciate, appreciate that about them. <laughs> All right. With the queen of queens here though. Uh, this woman, listen, whenever she shows up, this is more of a female that's showing up in the scene. This woman can be, she's not very good with her words. She's better with her actions. I want to save the queen of coins here. And so showing up, giving you that resource you need, helping you, supporting you, loving you, showing up for you, whatever the fuck the resource is, this woman usually has it. Her family and home are fucking everything to her. Fuck with them and find out for real. <laughs> okay. Uh, queen of coins too here is very into the materialistic. She's very into like the resources and making sure I have enough. And this woman's going to be very focused on keeping her cupboards full, her couch super fucking comfy, and her bed even comfier. Was maybe snacks hidden around. <laughs> Hell yeah, queen. <laughs> All right. This is also one of my premier cards of the entrepreneurial queen. Um, this is also one of my cards. If this is more of the energy we got to take on, especially if you're in partnership, I would say, babe, maybe it's time you take over the finances. Okay. And or this is one of my queens that like, she's really talking to us about starting her own business. She works her own business. This is beautiful. Okay. Uh, usually within a creative art. So I'm looking at cooking, baking, singing, sewing, cleaning, even to be honest, interior design, makeup and hair singing and farting and dancing <laughs> however the fuck this shows up for you there's creative arts to this all right now finally with the five of cups this is the rough card you guys got two beautiful cards and then the rough card is the five of cups okay i would say with the five of cups here um it's hard because it's cups it's emotions it's the way that we're feeling about something and again if you've ever met an earth element do they want to talk about their feelings that's the last thing they're going to talk about not only are they going to run away from it they're going to throw so many things in your way to get you distracted so we, it doesn't come the fuck back around. Okay? Again, I appreciate it. <laughs> Who the fuck wants to deal with their feelings? Definitely not Earth element. <laughs> All right? I'd rather eat my feelings about it or buy my feelings about it. Please and thanks. Uh, but with the Five of Cups here, this is fighting fuckery chaos. This is, this is some painful shit going on. Um, and with Cups, this is going to talk about our emotions. Um, it's also going to talk about our relationships and our intuitive senses. Now, I find that the Five of Cups here is kind of, it can be self-inflicted. Not always, all right? But if this is self-inflicted, it's asking you to look at the ways in which you're pushing people away. Uh, you're fighting with others because there's some kind of grief rolling around in the background. Maybe we literally just had a loss. Maybe we've been fighting with people. Maybe we can't seem to get along with anybody, and especially ourselves. But the Five of Cups here, I feel so deeply out of touch. I feel so deeply lost. I feel so deeply abandoned emotionally is what it feels like here. Okay. Um, I would just like to point out here though, if you can see, this is why this can sometimes be self-inflicted. Notice this person, their arms, look at that rep. They could just go whoopity doo and just write the fuck off. Like, what are you doing? Look, but they innovated it so that the, you know, at least their umbrella was hooked into the back. So it's useful for something. <laughs> it's keeping their head clean. Okay? At least the rain out of their hair. All I'm saying is here, at any point, we could really recognize what the fuck is going on. Look up for a second. Look around. Pay attention to our actions and the way that we are emotionally. Our emotions are speaking to some kind of grief and pain and loss. We need to address it so that we don't drive other people away or isolate ourselves completely. Okay? Okay. Also, too, with the number five here, I'm going to reference back to the month of May. Around the fifth of a month, with cups, it moves second to slowest. So I'm looking at weeks to months. Okay? Now, if we're looking for a yes or no this week, I would say that this is a, <sighs> I would say that this is a yes to taking over the finances. Um, I would say that this is a yes to investing in your mental health and grief to make sure we can get some kind of healing here. Okay. Um, I would say that this would be a yes in investing in yourself and what we need to spend our resources on this week, okay? Um, I would say that this is a no. Um, if you would rather stick your head in the mud and not deal with anything and not face your emotions, that is a no this week because your emotions are driving a lot of what we are doing out in the world, okay? That being said, 
We're looking around love and relationships. This is interesting to me because this can, this feels like to me, like either there was a loss in the family and there's a female at the head of this kind of like doling out things, maybe from the person that passed away. Maybe the person that passed away was an older female here, maybe an important matriarch within the family. And there's resources or there's items coming to people because of this loss. Okay. Which is like bittersweet because it's like, I have a part of them, but like, I'd rather have them. Do you know what I mean? Um, this can also mean this week, mm. this can also mean this week for some of you guys, uh, especially if you are an earth element or you identify with that, you know, what I was talking about with the earth element here, the queen of coins, um, maybe for some of you guys this week, you're ready to start being reciprocal, maybe within relationships, but it just feels like somebody here is not responding or is not even aware that you're trying to offer them something. I just feel like they're stuck in their own space and place. Like this person, like literally it's balls deep in grief. <laughs> Okay. Maybe they just had a huge loss of their own. And so if you're going towards somebody with a conscious something for them, or we're offering something here, I don't know if the other person's going to be able to hear it. So maybe wait and make sure that your person is available and ready to be reciprocal with you. Please. And thank you. This would be a huge indicator this week. Make sure that who we're working with, uh, is able to functioning available. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, before we start exchanging or working here with reciprocity. Because uh, again, with the Five of Cups, something's off. Okay, either with you or the other person. And we needed to deal with our grief or our sadness or find a better time frame that's going to work for this reciprocity to happen. Okay. Uh, maybe for some of you guys too. Mm, I feel like for some of you guys, maybe there was a major loss this week. It didn't even have to be a death. Um, Maybe we thought we invested in something and it did not come back. It just, it just didn't. Um, this did not work out the way that we want, excuse me, that we wanted to. And so I want to say for some of you guys, I'm deeply sorry about that. I'm fucking deeply sorry. There might be a callback here to the month of May and June or maybe the fifth or sixth of the month. Okay. Again, what we invested in here did not come back. And this has left us feeling like, woo doggies, uh, especially around love and relationships. We, our heart has been broken. Okay. So I just want to recognize that for some of you guys here, and I'm begging you to please mend your broken heart. Sit down and look at the ways in which you are interacting with others. Are you asking too much from some people that cannot, won't, are unable to show up? Okay. Sometimes, and I love you. Listen to me. I love queen of coins. Do you fucking hear me? I respect my earth queens, but sometimes you guys will try to force something here. Okay. Because you had a vision or there's potential without paying attention to the other party and whether or not they can or willing or available to. So just make sure this week, especially if you identify, um, and maybe we're trying to push something on here, uh, calm the fuck down, hold on a fucking minute. Okay. Um, and make sure that this person can show up with you. And if not give them grace and space and make sure that you're going out there and your discernment needs to get better here in some way, shape or form, either around yourself and your own grief and what you're going through or around your partnerships here. Okay. Also, is there a callback to mama? Is there a repeat of relationships here? At least the relationship with you and your mama, or maybe how we saw mama being within relationship. Maybe there's something here that maybe we don't fully value ourselves completely. And so we give ourselves completely the fuck away to the other person. We leave nothing for ourselves because we believe love to be giving everything you've got and then everything else until you're completely depleted. And then that's on you. So make sure that we're not doing this because it's not leaving you happy, babe. It's not leaving you fulfilled. And if we don't pay attention to that root core, you're going to go back out there and you're going to keep replaying this relationship, trying to fix it and figure it out with people that maybe we don't have any business or we shouldn't have any business being around who hasn't experienced that <laughs> okay again if you're going through that please forgive yourself recognize just what the fuck is going on here and choose a different path deal with your fucking grief it's time because it's it's literally taking you down avenues and places that cannot reciprocate or unwilling or unable like you deserve somebody here that can show up in equal stature to you Okay. So a king to your queen, a queen to your queen, a they to your they. I don't give a fuck, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> all right. I support it all, baby doll. So just make sure here that we understand what the fuck we want. And if I just feel like for some of you guys this week around love and relationships, for some of you guys, you have so much love to give and we just keep offering it to the wrong fucking dumb, dumb bubble gums. And that comes back to a value system. My darling, my love. So make sure that we're valuing ourselves. We're seeing ourselves worth value. Okay. 
and that we're also choosing mates and partners here that match our energy. You deserve more. Hmm. Anything else around love and relationships? Okay, um, on a sadder note, I feel like with the queen, this can also talk about sometimes the queen of coins is one of the, besides the queen of cups, is so, her children are everything, her children are everything, her children are everything. So maybe there was a loss here with one of the children, okay, um, that we need to sit down and face because it's, it's rocking and roll, it's rocking our fucking relationships, not only with other people, but with ourselves. So either we're taking too much or we're giving too much. There's an imbalance here that is not fucking working. So we need to go in and do either another leg of therapy or we need to sit down and start to face our fucking emotional pain because it is fucking up your shit. Okay. Um, especially if we lost a child here, maybe this could even just be the hope of having a child and it hasn't come true yet. And it's fucking with our shit. Sit down and do the grief work around it, okay? There's different ways to be a mama. Maybe this is also about, if that's important to you, backing up and looking at that and reimagining how, if being a mama is everything to you, please know that that wish and hope in your heart is, is there for a fucking reason, okay? In what ways can I still be a mama or show up as the mama figure that I need, want, is important to me? But also, am I dealing with the mother healing wound drama bullshit from my own past, my own childhood to make sure that I'm not repeating some kind of situation here? Okay. Last thing I want to say around this is that maybe for some of you guys, it feels as though you're smothering the partner. Maybe you're feeling smothered by a partner. Okay. With some of that, it's too much. Okay. And so maybe we just got to set serious boundaries here with someone and we need to say, hey, Maybe this could be as simple as one of your friends keeps coming to you with all their drama and pain and shit. And it's like, baby, you're not paying me by the hour. <laughs> <All right? laughs> I will sit and listen to you, but there's going to be some things I can't help you with. They're out of my wheelhouse. Get to a good therapist, please. Make sure that we're treating our friends and our loved ones with respect too. Okay. Sometimes when we're in pain and we're just looking for help and support, we'll talk to our people. But sometimes there can be, you go over the, you go overboard. So make sure we're going to the right professionals, the right people to help us and support us so that we're not putting a world of pain on our loved ones and our people that are here to love us and support us. But that means we also have to support ourselves. So get to the right professional. You deserve that. Okay. If we were looking around work and career. Okay, for some of you guys, it feels like maybe maybe if some of you guys wanted to start your own business, maybe we've been having difficulty lately around money. Maybe we hired somebody here and it's not working out or we went to be in partnership with somebody and it did not fucking work out. Maybe we thought it was going to go, but maybe at the last minute they, you know, they just said, no, middle fingers. <laughs> okay, it just has left us feeling really bummed and like maybe this was a stupid investment or like I shouldn't have done that. And or if some of you guys are waiting on something here and it feels like it's never going to come, I need you guys to get your resume out to multiple different places. Don't just put all your eggs in one basket, please. That's fucking crazy. Okay, make sure that we're going to multiple different places. We're looking at multiple different avenues. Um, around work and career though, especially if we start our own business, just be careful who and what we're investing in this week. Make sure that again, that this person can, will, is able to show up. What is their past history? Okay. Okay. Um, be careful of your investments this week, especially if you work in banking, finance, things of that nature. Okay. Be careful of the investments this week. Make sure that your intention or when we're doing this is to build upon or build something here. Okay. Maybe for some of you guys too, around work and career, I don't know, this is a side note, but like maybe some of you guys got an inheritance here and this is actually going to help you invest in your future <laughs> and it actually helps you incredibly. That's a positive aspect there. Okay. Okay. I feel like some of you guys are going into real estate though and land acquisition. Maybe because people are passing away and dying and they aren't leaving their land or property to other people. And so we're getting it somehow. That's interesting. All right. Side note. Side note. Extra points for land acquisition, investing in money, or investing in money, investing in land and buildings <laughs> and property. Okay. That feels good to me. And then building uh, a work, uh, building a business here with people that are reciprocal. Okay. Also, too, last thing I want to say, like maybe also, too, we had a business shut down. Maybe we want to start a new business, but we're terrified to do that. 
just remember you're at the the head of this okay where the fuck would you like it to go work through that grief previously so that we don't repeat a pattern here all right if we're looking around health and healing i'm telling you some of you guys have lost a child some of you guys have lost an important mother figure some of you guys have got some real loss going on here and or we've been pushing away our family here in some way, shape or form, maybe literally with mother and siblings or mother and family. OK, um, I, I, I think it's time to sit down and deal with the root core pain here. And for some of you guys, this might be around mama. OK, so again, get into fucking therapy, deal with your fucking shit. Some of you guys just need to fucking cry and grieve. You guys have been trying to stay strong here for maybe other people, but you get to grieve too. It was your loss as well. Holy fuck. Okay. So make sure that you do that. Um, for some of you guys here, I feel like, uh, again, may, pay attention to the skin and the moles. Make sure that we're getting that checked. For some of you guys, I need you to get your chest area checked out. The breasts, the heart, the lungs. We need to check out that place, please. And thank you. Please invest in it. Thank y'all. Okay. This is how we stay around for the future. <laughs> uh, investing in therapy. Uh, we're working with our grief, loss, uh, depression here, making sure that we're sit down and that we're helping ourselves. Okay. Especially whenever cups show up, maybe also too, this is finally investing in our intuition for some of you guys. I know this is weird in health, but like when we disregard our intuition, it starts to fuck up our body. It really fucking does guys. I teach a whole class on that. Um, the three spaces of intuition and not only like where this intuition is coming from, how it's going to manifest, but if we're not listening to it, the physical shit that shows up for us. Okay. So if you guys got any questions, let me know what the fuck is up. I'll, I'll give you a little something in the notes. Um, if you guys say something in the comments, okay. If you got card pile number two and you're having some health issues, I can tell you maybe the root core of where it goes back to, or maybe where your intuition sits and where we, what we've been disregarding. All right. Anything else around health? I just feel like, okay, oh, I think this is for a spirit message because I got a mama figure coming through. I do, okay, there's a, uh, there's a, there's, there's a mix here. I've got males and females showing up. Uh, this is important though because I do feel like somebody here, I know this is weird, but I feel like somebody's ashes want to be rela rela relaced. Was that Australian? What was that? <laughs> Extra points if, if you're from Australia. I don't know what the fuck that accent was. Forgive me, Australians, if that was rude to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, what was that? All right. Maybe somebody's ashes want to be released in the water, okay? So getting to the water here. I'm wondering if this is a female in spirit, though, okay? Or maybe this is a female loved one that we're, we're, we want to go spread the ashes here somewhere. I think they're asking, please go do that. Um, I think that that will be beautiful and should be with you, okay? Uh, thanking you for the release, honestly. Um, any other messages from spirit though? Ah, okay. Um, also too, for some of you guys, I feel like I've I said this the last time too. Uh, but I feel like somebody's been dropping pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels, extra points. If your loved one in spirit used to be in finance, was good with money, pet knew how to pinch a fucking penny was from the great depression and knew how the fuck to save money. Um, calling your loved ones right now. And, or if we're seeing the pennies, dimes, quarters, nickels, or whatever your changes money is for wherever the fuck you're at, uh, pay attention to this. Your loved one in spirit is telling you to give your fear and worry about your finances over to them. Focus on what you can do, please. And thank you. No more just dying where the fuck you are. This is about investing in the right people, places, and spaces. And so she's saying, pay attention to what you're thinking and speaking about when you see the coins. I'm trying to guide you. Okay. Mm. I love you. Oh, I want to start. I love you. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, extra points for June, May, 6th, 5th of a month. You guys get the jam. Guys, for anything else this week, fucking deal with your goddamn grief, babe. It might literally be the thing that's holding you back from moving forward and investing in your future. So deal with your grief, deal with the depression, deal with the sadness that might be coming up here around family and home. Maybe this is literally connected to a loss or death in your life. Sit down and deal with it so that you can heal here. Show up more embodied and do what the fuck you want to do in this world. Invest in yourself, okay, this week. Please know you are the prize, babe. <laughs> mm. Carpel number three. Hey, let's talk about it, babe. <laughs> Feels a little spicy in a good way. We'll get to it. Uh, first card you got is the Ace of Swords. Fucking right. Pretty phallic, though. We'll get into it. <laughs> hey. Second card we got is the Two of Cups. My nips are getting hard. <laughs> and then finally, we got a court card. We got the Queen of Fucking Wands. Let's talk about it. Hootie hoo. All right. <laughs> First of all, Ace of Swords. 
Ace of Swords. <laughs> Anytime the Aces come up, this is a yes for me, okay? Uh, whenever Swords come up, it's going to talk about the air element. So what we're thinking and speaking about. So this is a yes to what we're thinking and speaking about, okay? Uh, this is a definite fucking yes. This is also going to talk about new ideas, new technology, uh, just new things coming in here. And so saying yes to the new stuff that's showing up, giving it a try, taking a leap of faith, you know what I mean? Really going towards this, but we're using our thoughts and our words. This is huge. This is a very, very wordy week. <laughs> okay. And or I would like to say, if we need to ask for something this week, you should be receiving fucking yeses. Okay. Especially if you speak up about something, maybe also too, we're taking the mantle up for somebody, justice, maybe here in some way, shape or form, telling the truth about something brings an open doorway. Okay. Being truthful, balanced, fair, right, real, true. Uh, all of that's important. This opens up doors. All right. Also, too, with the ace here, it's going to stand around the first of a month. I reference these like the months, though. I'm, I'm looking towards January. So either maybe around the first of a month, one week, one day, one year. Swords move second to quickest. I'm looking weeks to months. Uh, but also, I want to read this like January. No later. Okay. Now with the two of cups. Oh, baby. This is, babe, this is the love card. Okay. It's one of my love cards. Okay. Uh, but this talks about love. This talks about partnerships. Um, this can even talk about not only with other people, but with ourselves. So coming into better partnership because I love myself now. Fucking right. <laughs> Woo. Um, so just saying with the two of cups, this is a gorgeous card. I want a partnership. This is, I think also too, we've reached a space here. At least this card always says to me, we understand that love is protecting each other's peace. There's such protection here. Look at the water cascading down on either side of them where they're holding each other. Okay, so there's something beautiful happening here. We're coming into better partnership with other people, better partnership with ourselves, because love is at the forefront. Finally, God bless, especially if this has to do with you and how hard maybe that we've worked on this because cups moves pretty slow. Okay, it's not as slow as earth, but it's fucking slow. So this has been a while, maybe two years, two months, maybe since last February with the number two here. But you guys know I read it like the months. I'm looking towards February. All right. So there might be a highlight here in February, maybe around the second um, and or uh, just looking around the second of a month, two weeks, two days, two years. Cups again, move second to slowest. So I'm looking weeks to months. All right. Uh, but I love this card. It's beautiful. It's just the beginning stages because it's the number two. But again, we've been working at this for a while. We're kind of taking our time. We're really emotionally feeling into it. And again, letting love guide the way. Well done, you guys. That's Honestly, that's where the fuck it's at. And then finally, we got a we got a court card. Ooh, baby, Queen of Wands. Listen, you know, y'all know she's my favorite. That's because I am the Queen of Wands. <laughs> she stands for our Aries, Leos, and Sagittariuses, okay? So with the Queen of Wands here, I'm going to be looking for that energy within the top three placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Innermost Planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus, or maybe uh, Heavy Fire placements here within the chart. Um, I'm an Aries at 29 degrees, and my rising sign is Leo, which also reps the Sun. So... <laughs> It's all fire and then my water moon. So I got fire, fire. It's just lava water. It's lava water. It's lava. I don't know why I'm saying lava water. It's just lava. <laughs> Am I comprised of lava and like lightning bolts? I don't know. My husband probably thinks so. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> he would say yes. Uh, with the queen of wands here though, man, she's fiery. She doesn't give a fuck. This is the leader, man. She's the boss fucking queen. She's also the hottest out of all the queens. Fighter in the fucking streets. You won't lose. <laughs> all right. I promise. There's just something, man, there's just something hot about her. Um, I just, I love the Queen of Wands. She's fiery. She's independent. She reminds us to stand up. And she definitely, man, when the Queen of Wands comes through, she really says, remember who the fuck you are. Do not let dumb, dumb bubblegum, fucking old raggedy, fucking butt white marks, <laughs> skid marks, try to tell you fucking anything. <laughs> remember who the fuck you are. Okay, don't let the dum dums fucking play with you in your mental space. Um, I also think that the Queen of Wands asks us to stand up and take action on something. Be a leader here in some way, shape, or form. It's really important. So she's asking you to stand in your power. All right, man. With all these combined, though, God, this is gorgeous. Woo. Um, also, too, the Queen's going to be our age or older. Usually, when she shows up on the scene, I like that she's looking straight at us. I feel like this is somebody we already know, since she's looking straight at us. And so whether this is talking about you or this is somebody that we already know, uh, we're working with this energy this week. Whether or not you like it, babe. Also, welcome to fire, queen energy. <laughs> welcome. Now, if we're looking for a yes or no this week, to me, this is very much a yes. And especially around our relationships, who we're going into partnership, if we're coming into better partnership with ourselves, even. Woo. This is a fucking yes. Maybe standing up here and saying, like, 
saying yes to certain partnerships that make better sense for you and are better in alignment with who you are and what the fuck you're about. Fucking right. As long as you get to be the leader. I think that that's important this week. And or quit. Sh this is a no. If you keep shirking away from being the leader, then get go home, babe. What are you doing? You keep That keeps coming for you over and over and over again. Quit it. <laughs> Just face it. Do the fucking thing. <laughs> Do the fucking thing. All right. With that being said, if we're looking for around love and relationships this week, this is, that actually feels really beautiful to me around love and relationships. This kind of feels like, again, uh, for some of you guys this week, this is coming into better relationship with myself. I'm finally saying yes to me. And this is where I start to really glow the fuck up. I'm just going to remind you guys, because I love this from Susan Grace, the astrologer. I love what she says that when we find ourselves, we then find the other. There is so much magic in that. that There's so much fucking truth. I'm sure some of you guys are like, shut the fuck up. That's stupid. I then that message isn't for you, okay? But for those who it resonates and those who understand what the fuck I'm talking about, there is, an, there is a fucking real fucking truth to that. When you know who you are and you know what the fuck you're about, like, then you put out your weird freak flag signal to your other weirdos that would love you and adore you because you're finally being yourself. Mm, okay? Woo, anything else around love and relationships? Yes, all the things. Um, for some of you guys, this might be a brand new relationship coming up where maybe you saw yourself as very independent. You know, I would really say the queen of wands and the queen of swords are very independent ladies. My queen of heart, my queen of cups and my queen of earth, well, they need a part, they want partnership, they need partnership. That's very important for them. But my wands and my air, not so much. So maybe for some of you guys this week, I never thought I'd be in partnership. And holy fuck, this dummy actually got my heart. <laughs> And it was through, it was mental connection for some of you guys, okay, with the swords, woo. And again, look, I'm just saying it's very phallic, all right? If we got the ace of wands or the ace of swords, woo, somebody's got downstairs feelings. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. I'm just saying, somebody's feeling it. <laughs> you make someone very excited. But I also think, too, the mental connection here is what, like, maybe just blew you away. And so with the two of cups, this just feels really beautiful. I finally found a match here for somebody that gets me mentally. And I didn't think that was ever going to happen. Again, for the queen of wands, it's a rarity. So if she finds somebody that she feels is a good mental match for her, she'll pretty much do damn near anything. For somebody that understands a fire sign, it's really difficult. Because I feel like a lot of us are usually accused of being too much, over the top, too loud, too whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's always too much. When it's the fire signs, but it's like somebody that finally gets it. It just allows us to be ourselves and just speak our hearts and minds. Oh, woo. And again, for some of you guys this week, I think some of you guys understand finally your heart and your mind. For some of you guys here, it's finally working together and you're getting yeses. So I would also very much this week tell you guys, especially if you identify as the queen of wands or you feel like that energy really spoke about you, like, babe, uh, you need to trust who you're picking and choosing to be in partnership with this week. Uh, it's actually incredibly important. Make sure that you're discerning, that you're here, that you're present, that you're looking at this very fucking clearly. I trust that with the Queen of Wands. Um, sometimes she'll let her big purr kind of run the circus. <laughs> Yay! It happens, all right? <laughs> um, all right? <laughs> or, again, if you're a dude, you look, you have big purr too, all right? <laughs> So whoever's running, just make sure that it's your heart running the show this time, or at least make sure head and heart are working together. So we're choosing the right partnerships that make sense. This is so beautiful though, you guys, I, honestly, also too, if some of you guys were thinking about asking somebody out on a date, uh, that you're going to get yeses this week, uh, maybe say yes to somebody that asked you out on a date or that wants to sit down and be with you. Okay. Um, and have a conversation, talk things out. This would be great though, too, if we want to talk about a love relationship, talk about a partnership here. Um, really have discussions around, like, what is this thing? Baby, it's love. <laughs> it's love. And I think for some of you guys, also, too, if you identify as the Queen of Wands, being in love is absolutely fucking terrifying. Again, like, uh, Cups is probably the only one that's like, fuck yeah, like, singing the whole way. <laughs> like, it's... <laughs> Well, you know, fire here is going to fist fight it till the very end, till they finally give in, till they submit, which is very fucking rare. <laughs> okay. So I just think here it's because of the mental connection. And when the mental connection happened, it finally felt like I could be safe to be around this person. Or maybe for some of you guys this week, it's feeling safe to finally be myself and speak my fucking mind and be the leader I'm being called to be fucking right. 
Um, anything else around family and home? Um, this feels like also to maybe working with an important female within the family. Okay. Partnering up with her, talking with her, communicating with her, making sure that we're keeping up with each other and tuning in with each other. This woman might be guiding you and helping you here within the family or the friendship structure. Okay. And just, this feels so good to me. Just make sure around our partnerships this weekend or who we're coming into partnership with, they need to be on our level and there needs to be a mental connection. Okay. I think that that would be important. All right. Now, if we're looking around work and career, how some of y'all, listen, I'm telling you right now, there might be two job opportunities coming in for some of you guys. There might be maybe the partnerships. There's going to be a good partnership coming in this week. So for some of you guys, especially if you own your own business or you're rocking and, you know, doing your own fucking thing, feels like there's going to be some projects coming up that are just like the perfect fucking connection. Might even lead to more opportunities going forward too. I very strongly suggest that you say yes to this, especially if it's giving you the opportunity to stand in your power, be a leader here in some way, shape or form, or speak your truth to others. Fucking do that shit. Okay. This is really fucking good. Um, if some of you guys wanted to start your own business, this is going to hinge on the part who you go into partnership with, but it is indicated and I think you should fucking do it. I do think a jump off point might be January and February. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that would be important. Oh, I meant to say for the relationships too, there might be a call to January, February 1st or 2nd of the month. Just pay attention to that. Okay. That's interesting. I just think it's interesting how we got a one, a two, and then a queen. So I just feel like, uh, sorry guys, I just got sidetracked <laughs> uh, with the relationship part of it. I just feel like maybe also too, I should have said this too, the queen of wands or somebody here might be deciding between two people, but a victor comes out. Okay. And again, um, also too, if, we're, if somebody else is coming back around from the past, just make sure their words and actions are aligning. And then again, you guys are both on the same page. All right. Okay. Okay. But for work and career, this feels gorgeous to me. Again, we're going to be getting yeses this week. So if you were asking for a promotion, wanted to work for a place that really spoke to your heart and soul, like go in there and ask them or put in an application. We should be getting yeses and calls back. This is fucking gorgeous. But again, be ready to be in a position of power or to be a leader here in some way, shape or form. You're not going to be, maybe it is data entry. Okay. But maybe you run the whole fucking ship by the end of it. So be ready to step into positions of leadership. This is what's being called of you and asked of you now. Are you ready to be the leader in some way, shape, or form within work and career? No more pussyfooting the fuck around. No more pretending like you don't have the best ideas of everybody. Okay? Get in there and show them the way of the fuck to do it right. I would also say extra points this week if you were becoming a matchmaker. All right. Um, I think that you would be really great in helping people like connect in a way that made sense for them. Um, also too, this week, if you're counseling people that are just kind of struggling, maybe we wanted to be a marriage counselor. Okay. This would be beautiful. Um, for some of you guys too, like really just going into the work that you love to do and that it, again, there needs to be a mental connection within the work that we do. It needs to speak to me mentally or keep me mentally occupied. If it doesn't, this ain't the one know that about yourself. That's so, so, so important. Okay. Anything else about work and career? Ask for whatever the fuck you want this week. The right partnerships will say yes. Pay attention to who the fuck is saying yes and what new doors and partnerships are coming in around work and career. This is literally going to lead you forward and put you again in a position of power. Baby, you're meant for it. Say yes. Okay. If we're looking around health and healing. Hmm. I think validation from a partner is healing some of you guys. Shit. Maybe somebody's coming around here and telling you how they felt changed the whole way that you saw and felt yourself. Wow. That's beautiful. Um, I think for some of you guys, I mean, maybe it would be important if that resonates to maybe let that person know if you've never told them or to let them know that like they affected you massively in your growth and in your change and how you view and you love yourself and you see yourself. Please tell somebody here if they were a motivating factor in your life, reminding you who the fuck you are. Um, just remind them that they were a part of it and thank them. Okay. Cause I, <laughs> I think that's really beautiful. Okay. Um, health and healing, anything else here? I definitely feel like we're going to be talking about some partnerships and relationships this week for some of you guys, especially for doing therapy, there might be some kind of something here around mama and partnerships. What was she like in partnerships? What was she like with the partnership with her and I? 
maybe there's something maybe mama could possibly have been like abusive with the words here with ace of swords um or maybe she really stood up for us and she kind of taught us like how to stand up for ourselves okay sometimes the queen of wands can be mean man she can be a nasty fucking streak man she's got a fucking attitude <laughs> <laughs> she's got a fucking attitude. She can just be fucking mean. She's got a temper. So sometimes the queen of wands is not fucking nice. Okay. I would actually say most of the Zodiac is scared of the fire signs to be honest with you. Okay. So, um, just saying to you, she can be a little brash. She can be a little rash. Uh, she could not really care about, you need a booty scoot. You need to hurry the fuck up for her. Okay. <laughs> you need to hurry the fuck up. Okay. So also to what did we learn here around mom and relationships? What did she expect from us? What were those expectations? Are we healing the space now so that we can come into better alignment with ourselves? Or if this was positive and she taught us how to stand up for ourselves, is there something here where I'm ready to take that next level and heal up here in a way where I'm ready to stand in my own power? Well done. Okay. This feels like to me, especially in terms of like the therapy sense, you guys are making some real headway and loving yourselves, knowing who the fuck you are, finding clarity around what you want in partnerships. Well fucking done. Well fucking done. Okay. Um, I would also this week, just make sure that we are paying attention to our lungs, our eyeballs, our nostrils, anything where you got two feet, knees, butt cheeks, ears. Tails. I don't fucking know. I'm not here to judge. Okay. You're beautiful, whatever the fuck you are. Okay. Love yourself. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> um, anything else around healing? I think that some of you guys are going to have to take the charge. Oh, man, there might be a mother figure here where we're going to have to be her advocate, healing health wise. Maybe she's spicy. Maybe she's combative. <laughs> okay. And so we've got to be an advocate for her, make sure she's getting the health care that she needs, but also make sure she's not hurting anybody else. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like that's completely terrible. It's making me laugh. So just saying, listen, I had a spicy little grandma. She would have just fought you in the fucking streets. Okay. My little gram, man, she was tiny, but she'll eat your fucking face. So I'm <laughs> just saying. All right, I'm just saying, um, if you've got a older female like that, please, you might have to be here for some medical procedure, possibly a surgery, okay? For some of you guys, we might have to ha end up having two surgeries here, but this is literally going to help us. They might be cosmetic here. Maybe we're getting like breast augmentation. Again, we're working with two of something, maybe getting fat reduction. I, I don't know. Whatever's going on here, it's like, it's going to help us love ourselves more or see ourselves the way we do like in our head. Do you know what I'm saying? And so whatever we can construction, cosmetic surgery is coming up here. It's going to help me really identify and see myself like I do in my head. This is important. Okay. So for some of you guys, if you were wondering, should I get a life affirming surgery? Fucking right. You fucking should. Okay. Especially if you can afford it. This is a yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, 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 um. Anything else with health and healing? I sort of remind you, you're a fucking queen king that you're royalty, babe. Love yourself. Okay. This is the key to it all. For you guys, it's the mental space. And so replacing those voices in our head with the ones that actually are ours and with love, it's going to be key to you moving forward. I fucking mean that. All right. If we're looking for a message from spirit. I feel like some of you guys may have lost a partner here because I got males and females showing up. Uh, <clears throat> maybe for some of you got man. It's wild to me because some of the spirit coming through is so excited and so happy and just saying, I love you. I love you. Thank you for paying attention. I know you hear me. Fuck yeah. And then others are feeling like, I don't want to say frustrated, but just like trying to get through, trying to let you know that like they're around and that they love you and that they're guiding you. And maybe we're missing signs here or we're missing something going on here. Okay. Um, it just feels like it's kind of a mixed bag coming through. All right. So I just want to say to you, especially if we lost a partner, I feel like a partner is coming through here to say that they love you and they meant that for fucking forever. Do you understand them? Okay. That even though they're not here physically, that they're going to do everything in their goddamn power to make sure that you are safe, that you are protected and that most importantly, your peace is protected. Okay. This is really fucking important. So I just feel like for some of you guys, this is a moment to sit down and do some grief work. Um, and they're just saying like, I also want to say for some of you guys that like love isn't dead, even though we've lost what we, what we felt was our person, what was our person. 
please know that love isn't dead, that they might be bringing a relationship towards you that's going to rock your fucking world, okay? And make you believe that love isn't dead, okay? So if you're not ready for that, then no thank you, okay? But if we are ready for that and you're okay hearing that from your loved one in spirit, um, just please know that they love you. They promised they would protect you forever. And I feel like that that is a part of their protection, okay? And making sure that you're always safe, protected, and you're with a good partner. But this is also hinging upon you trusting yourself, loving yourself. But I also feel like for some of you guys, maybe it's been like two plus years. Maybe there's a call to January, February, maybe the first or the second connected with them. Um, I think they're just saying to you that like they believe in you, they love you. And that when you come into good partnership with yourself, um, man, when you step into your fucking power, <laughs> the whole world is going to be yours. I really feel that very fucking strongly. Extra points, if I don't know why they're showing me this, but like scallop seashells. So I don't know if seashells, maybe you guys used to gather them or pick them up, or you're seeing signs and signals from them around seashells. But they keep showing me a scalloped, to be honest with you, there's one male that's coming in that's specifically showing me a scalloped seashell. I don't know what the fuck that's about, okay? So if you, please, if that resonates for you, please take it. It's interesting though, because he keeps making it like, I don't know, I feel like it's in different shapes, or we keep seeing it, I don't know if it's a heart. Um, either way, whenever we're seeing the scallop seashell, there's something here. I just, I don't, it reminds me of Venus or he just keeps talking about like your beauty and how beautiful you fucking are. Okay. So I just think that there's something here with our loved ones in spirit saying that they love us, that they're protecting us. Especially if you've lost a partner here, that you are loved, that you are seen, that you are protected. Look out for the signs and signals. Okay. Also pay attention to any music that is coming through or numbers, repeating numbers. I feel like they're speaking to you through some of those signs and signals. All right. Guys, for anything else this week, I would just say motherfucking trust yourself, step in your fucking power and pay attention. Make sure that we are clear and discerning around our partnerships this week. They're actually key and essential to moving us forward in our life. So if we don't know what we want or we're not able to decipher who's good for us and are not, step the fuck away from it. Make sure that you're in a good mental space before you start going into partnership with others. Whatever the fuck you do, work on the partnership with yourself, babe. The more that you tune in there and that you love yourself, uh, the more that you're going to trust yourself and trust your fucking judgment. Crazy how that works. Okay. So fucking trust yourself, love on yourself, heal yourself, and remember who the fuck you are. You got this. Okay. All right, guys. I hope to God that made sense. I hope you got it resonated. And then all feedback helps me to grow. Middle fingers for no. Could call for fucking yes. I love you guys. And I'll see you out there. Let me know how it was for you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.